Hello, everyone. I'm Amanda Squires, and I'm the Manager of Communications and Relations for the NLDA. Today, I'm joined with our President, Dr. Michelle Swicker. Good morning. Michelle, a lot has changed in Newfoundland and Labrador this past week due to COVID-19. How has this impacted dentistry? Well, on Friday, I mean, we saw some cases kind of surging a bit last week. I started to get a little bit scary. And there had been, um, there had been some uh, thoughts that uh, this, this was presenting a bit differently than it had before. But uh, the CMOH ordered all private health clinics to close for routine care, and we're now back to alert level five. Um, but what that means is um, that dentists, as private health clinics, are still able to provide emergency and urgent care, and they are to be triaging their patients over the phone. Um, and it's important to note that it is our responsibility to ensure that our patients have access to the dentist for emergencies or for urgent issues, even if it's just virtually or by a telephone call, um, we do need to make sure that we're taking care of those patients. So a quick little note to patients, though, if you're going through something that you're not sure is an emergency or you're just not sure if it's something that's urgent enough to be taken care of, call the dental office because somebody will answer that question for you and they'll at least be able to give you some advice for how to handle things over the next couple of weeks. Um, right now, this special measures order is only in place for two weeks. Now that may and will likely change uh, at the end of two weeks, but we'll have to see. Um, this might feel a little bit new uh, for some people, but it isn't new. We've been working this way for a year now. Um, the protocols that we've had in place since the very start are the same protocols that we continue to use. Um, so, um, you know, we're continuing to treat patients who are in need and work with people who are looking uh, for routine care. We have to work with those people and make sure that they understand that they're going to be rescheduled as soon as soon as we can. Um, I am hopeful that this is not going to be the same as it was last year, but remember, we weren't ready for it last year. We're ready for it this time. Michelle, it's great to know that if people have any dental emergencies or aren't sure if they're experiencing a dental emergency, they can still contact the dentist. It was recently announced that there is a new variant of COVID-19 here in the province. Has anything in the protocol changed? Um, well, I mean, we know that this new variant is a lot different um, than what we have been dealing with up to this point. Um, there are some things that we're going to have to adjust, uh, but the majority of our protocols are the same. Uh, the key differences that you're going to notice in the protocols that come out to you is that all clinical staff and all front desk staff should now be wearing um, eye, eye protection. Um, and also patients should be wearing a surgical mask when they come in. So if they are not wearing a surgical mask when they come in, we should be providing that to them. And face shields are no longer going to be acceptable. And actually the CMOH explained that. She said face shields are not something that you should be wearing at this time. Other than that, the changes are not significant. I mean, our infection control procedures are the same. The personal protective equipment that we are expected to have on hand and be using for our patients has remained the same. It's just, you know, add those glasses, keep the eye protection there, keep that shield down when patients are in the office. Um, and I think really stressing that patients uh, check in from the curbside and wait for you to come get them, that, that's a big one. Because I think that some of us have reverted back to letting patients into the office because we were able to socially distance. But at this point, we're asking that people do the check-in from the curb. Um, it's very important to stress that while um, nothing significant in I guess it's significant, but no major key changes have happened with the pandemic protocol. Um, but at this point, we know that this variant spreads very, very quickly and very, very easily. Um, and it's important for you to stress to your staff that you need to be mindful of your actions, not just in the office, but also outside of your office. Um, this is, you know, this is something that we have to start stepping back and saying, are these things that we're doing essential? Do we need to be doing these things that we do every day or should we maybe just stay home? Mm -hmm. When Dr. James Fitzgerald announced that Newfoundland is now back in the world of five, there was a bit of panic. If someone's feeling uneasy about going back into work this week, um, what would you say to them? The dental office is safe. I mean, honestly, um, nothing has changed with respect to 
what we have been doing all along. The dental office has remained a completely safe place to be, um, especially with the protocols that we have had in place over the last year. We know how to do this. We know how to work against COVID. We have been doing this for a year. Um, so when, you know, when the pandemic started, everything was just kind of new. There wasn't a lot known. Uh, there wasn't a lot of research about the virus. However, we've been here before. We've done this before. We were safe, we have been safe for the last year. So as always, wear the appropriate PPE, do an individual risk assessment on yourself as well. I mean, if you're somebody who kind of falls within the risk groups that might need a little enhanced PPE, then take that on yourself and you know just, just do what you need to do to keep yourself safe. But continue all the routines that we've had in place for the entire time and be diligent. Uh, it's normal to feel, it's normal to feel nervous and anxious, especially when things seem to be kind of going so quickly and moving so quickly. But it's time that we just keep doing what we know how to do best. Uh, we, we know how to do this and uh, we can flatten the curve again. We did it before and we can do it again. Absolutely. Michelle, do you have any last comments for the dentists of Newfoundland and Labrador? Um, I, I'd like all of you to just take this time to really check in on your friends and your family and your coworkers. Um, I mean, if you can send your employees a quick text or check in on them and make sure that they're feeling okay, check in on your parents, check in on the friends that you haven't seen for a while, just make sure that they're doing okay. Um, the NLDA uh, will be sending out the updated pandemic plan for, for dentists, so read it very carefully, be diligent. Uh, I know it seems new and scary, but we've been here before. We're prepared for it. Uh, we can flatten that curve again. Um, Remember that it is our job to take care of our patients of record. It's our job to be there for them at this time. They're just as scared as you are, but they still do have needs. And a lot of us are still dealing with a lot of the backlog that we had from the first shutdown. So you can't ignore your patients. You really, it is your responsibility to take care of them. Um, if you are not uh, getting the NLDA briefings, um, please contact Amanda. Uh, her email will be listed for you uh, because we really do need you to get that, you know, that line of communication from us. Um, and one last thing, it is so important to just be incredibly careful with the activities that you are doing outside of the office. It is so very easy to justify your interactions as acceptable. It's very easy to say, oh, well, my sister's been nowhere. I don't really, I, I don't see why I can't go see her. Or, you know, oh, well, I've been with this group of friends for the whole time, but where has that group of friends been? Um, so, you know, it's so easy to justify that your interactions are acceptable um, when it doesn't really seem like those interactions are doing any harm. Um, but if this latest outbreak illustrates, things can ex escalate very, very quickly when we let our guards down. Great point. Michelle, once again, thank you for your time and your expertise. Thanks, Amanda. Have a good day. You too.